Okay, so I'm going to throw this into my thousand subscriber special at some point because I realized after talking the whole way through for the 20 minutes in the draw of my life is somehow I left out a very big part of my life which would be my girlfriend who I've been with for almost three years now. I really, I don't know how it went over my head the whole time I was doing the draw of my life but somehow I left her out and I wanted to include her in the video because she is such a big support to me and to the channel and is always telling me to keep going with it and to do what I want to do so I didn't want to leave her out because she's just so special to me and she is someone that I really love so I'm gonna put this in at the start of the video as a little pre-intro thing so enjoy the video what's the crack lads I'm Paul Harry Manny Face and welcome to my thousand subscriber special so we literally just hit 1000 subscribers which is amazing like I didn't think we would but we're here and there is a thousand of you out there which is just like mind blown and I'm just I'm speechless I don't, I don't really know what to say it's like all I can say is thank you and uh, this channel is all you people out there I'm just the person that makes the content for the channel but you people out there are the actual channel itself and what this channel means and who what this channel is and the community around the channel so that that's amazing that so many people can be part of one thing together so it is really cool and I thought this time I'd do a draw my life it's not going to be anything spectacular or long but it's going to be a kind of a rundown of my life and how the channel came about and all that stuff so we will we'll get along with it. so first off I was born on the 28th of the 8th so to any of you out there that's August 96 which is 1996 so literally at the time of recording this my birthday is also eight days away and when that comes along I will be a very big two zero 20 years old which is responsibilities is all I can say <laughs> but yeah it's it's cool I'll be 20 in eight days which is quite awesome but back to the start of my life I as you can see from the background or the background that I half has maked and it maked yes already an amazing video <laughs> but half ass put together and uh, fucking half ass fucking Irish flag in the background yeah I, I, I'm I, I'm Irish and I started off in the Coombe which I was well there we go the Coombe in Dublin which is also known as the matter to some people and I was born there on the 28th of the 8th 1996 and then I, I was there until I was about five five years old and at that age then we moved to a place called Mullingar which is in the big west side which will be west west and then if my mouse would appear west Meath it's very broken but it's Meath yes big west Meath in um, in Mullingar so that's where I moved about five years six years of age around that time and I lived there till I was about 10 or 11 and I was considered one of the cool kids back then and yeah I, I don't think I was a good person back then I was one of those cool kid kind of like your typical cool kid who thought that everything revolved around them in the class and I was the group of the cool kids in the class which I wasn't happy about at the time because the cool kids of the class were also the bullies of the class which I didn't like at all and I didn't get involved in 
But back then I was kind of one of the the cool, cool, let's put it in, the cool kids. And then after that, after five years, I moved to a little place in Ross Common. Well, both. Both Ross. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, none of that shite. Fucking Ross. Ka. Man. And it's also on the border of. May. May. Oh. Yeah. So, when I moved there, I kind of became a bit more shy. Less shy, just more within myself. And I kind of didn't want to become part of that cool kid group again that were the bullies. So, I became friends with, well, two of my best friends at the time were Michael, who is from England, Birmingham himself, and Niall. So, we have Michael. We have Michael. And here we put him over here, and he can be like, hey, what's up? What's up? And then there was Nail. Nail. Ah, there we go. And I kind of chose to be on the other end of the spectrum then, which was to be part of that gamer group where there isn't really that many people in it and you're kind of the odd ones out in the class. And I actually much preferred it to be honest. I, I was just happy having actual decent friends or that were decent people and not pe friends that were absolute assholes all the time, which was kind of a nice change. And throughout that time in my life, it was just more of the getting bullied part. But me being used to being the cool kid as well, I did also fight back, which led to a a lot of bad things in school and I kind of uh, got into a lot of trouble in school so yeah it wasn't it, it wasn't a good time but then I went off to second secondary school which was in Nathies in uh -huh. let me get Nathies up first and then we'll move on to the next part <laughs> Nathies in there we go Nathies in Palahadrine, which is this tiny, tiny, tiny little arse of a town in God knows where, and I don't think I'll even be able to spell it on the screen because it's such a big fucking name. B A L L A G H. There we go. Uh, D E R R E E and N. There we go. In Palahadrine. In this little arse end of nowhere. And I was still with my friends, Michael at the, and Niall at the time. But um, you know, me, Michael and Niall kind of separated. Less Michael. True secondary, me and Michael stayed friends. Like really good friends. True secondary school till pretty much the end. And then I also met a couple of new friends which was Brandon. We put him there. And we also have Sean. I met two Seans, which was Sean and Sean. One being Keher. Uh, that's supposed to be an E, but yeah, it's K E. There we go. And the other being O Connor. There we go. So I stayed friends with these three people for the whole time through secondary school which to us is about six seven years and then and then when we moved off from college or from secondary school some of us went to college I went to college for a while doing some good things which was if I get rid of these there we go which was I went to college to do civil and J Engineering, you get the point, there we go, engineering, and I did that for a year, and I realised it kind of wasn't for me, and 
I didn't really like doing it, so I kind of I, I gave up college at that point, and around literally right after I gave up college, I started my YouTube. So we have, yay, YouTube, way, way, which is over a year ago now. It's like I started uploading properly around the eighth month of 2015 but before that I had started uploading for about three months before that and it kind of I kind of only uploaded like maybe once a week or like I uploaded one or two videos in a week and then I left it for three or four weeks and it wasn't a serious thing so technically my channel is just over a year and a half or just below a year and a half old actually but te when I actually started it's only almost one year old one year there we go one year old way woo so after one year now we're at a good one thousand people and that's that that's just as I've said get rid of those and we'll put this in it's just in sane there we go it's just it's mind-blowing and I'm really happy it has got this far and that I am helping people and that even the shout out Sundays that I do do they're helping youtubers that are starting off kind of get a bit more exposure I'm not gonna say I'm helping them grow because I'm probably not big enough to help someone grow yet but it's just to get a bit more exposure and get a few more views and a couple of more people into your channel and it's really awesome that we have that to help other people that other people are coming in here and they see that and they get a shout out and then that helps them grow which is amazing because I know how hard it is to grow at the start of YouTube and it, it is unbelievably hard to grow like for ages I was sitting well below 100 for a good for five months and I thought the channel wasn't going anywhere I didn't expect it to go anywhere but it, it was nice seeing it go somewhere and see the people come in and see that the, some people actually liked the content that I was making I don't claim to be one of the best youtubers out there actually I I think this is what describes me a lot more than other youtubers is calm and in a lot of my gameplays that I do do I try and keep it a lot more like down low and how I am and I try to be a lot more calm unless something actually happens that I actually feel that I need to shout at which is either anger or fear and then it can get yeah quite uncalm but the rest of the time that I'm just normally playing a game and I'm just talking about the game and I like to go about what I'm doing I just try to be calm and try to be who I am and that's kind of it's kind of what rubs off on my channel so I think that's what's really cool about the whole community that we have going here that I can just be myself and be calm but still people like the content because there is still them times when I get angry at something or I get scared of something or something happens where I do have to react and I do react as I would react which is the good as they call it the fighting Irish way which is to scream at something or give out about something or curse and throw out all the fucks and all sorts <laughs> at everything which is really cool but back to my story after the year of leaving college I'd started my YouTube and I've been doing YouTube for a year and while I've been YouTube doing YouTube I've been unemployed and looking for work and I have been looking for work a lot but me as a person is this is also describes me is very I'm a very shy person and it's not talking to people or meet new people I love meeting new people and I love when new people message me on Twitter and I get to talk to new people about the channel and stuff it's not like that but under pressure in an interview with a job interview I get very like I get a lot of anxiety so we write this down here 
Uh, 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 that's not how you spell it. <laughs> uh, never mind, never mind. Hang on, we'll get back, we'll get back to it. Uh, yeah, I get a lot of anxiety when I go into an interview and I start getting tunnel vision and when people are asking me a lot of questions about what I've done in the past, I don't really know what to answer because I've never really, I've had a job or two, but like it's never been something that is common. Like when you're getting jobs in Galway, which is where I'm living now, it's always a lot to do with some sort of food, like working in a takeaway or something and you have to know how to handle food or something but the only places I've really worked are like hardware stores and like stacking shelves and showing people where stuff is and all that so I don't it's not really I don't know it's it's not like the experience you need for the types of jobs you do find around Goa where I'm living at the moment and yeah, it, it, it leads to a lot of work on this so me being shy I think that's the reason why I haven't got a job yet because I'm just I'm just a socially awkward person in the respects of that. Uh, like, when I'm out and I'm talking to people, I actually don't mind talking to people. I'm not very good um, at holding a conversation, but I'm good at, like, listening and understanding people, and that's why people like to talk to me, because they can just talk and talk and talk, and I'll sit and I'll listen to them and help them with their problems if I can. But that, that's just kind of who I am, and... It's just kind of what I do, so I, th I think I think that kind of wraps it up. That now I'm living in Galway, the big Galway. So over the course of my life, I moved from all the way in the east side over all the way to Mullingar, which is in the middle. And then over to Roscommon, which is pretty much in the west. And then after that, if I can delete this shit, there we go. After I moved to the west to Roscommon, I moved to kind of, uh, I'd say south west to Galway. Galway is a bit like, like Dublin, it's like Dublin, Mullingar, Roscommon, and then Galway is down here. So I kind of moved straight across and then down. So I've moved many places over the course of my life. I think I've had, had like four or five different houses. Oh God. Which means that my accent as well. I've had a lot of people say it that they really like my accent, but it's not a common Irish accent and it isn't because a lot of Irish accents are one type of Irish accent. You live in Cork, you have a Cork accent. You live in Dublin, you have a Dublin accent. But I've lived in Dublin, I've lived in Mullingar, I've lived in Roscommon. So I've got a very mixed accent from many places. And the fact that three of my best, my three best friends have, are from, let's type it in here. Uh, 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 aha, there we go. My three best friends are from England, so Michael's from Birmingham, so is Brandon, and here I'm actually not sure, but Sean is also from England, so my three best friends are all from England, so I have a lot of English slang as well that I know, like fucking like Wagwan and Fam and all that, and it's kind of, it's a really weird accent that I have, it's Irish mixed with English from all over Ireland, from all my English friends, and it's it's just kind of all over the place, but it's pretty much me. I'm the shy, uh, cat, oh fuck, that's not how you spell a C. <laughs> I'm the shy, calm, kind of just chilled out, uh, chilled in Irish person, and I just kind of I've got an odd accent and it's just, it's who I am, but I, I'm happy with who I am as well and I'm happy how far I've come and that uh, I've become a person that actually cares about other people, I try to help other people as much as I can, like to my best ability. I don't like the whole bully thing, I've moved on from that in my life and I hated myself back 
when I was part of the whole like bully group. I'm not saying I was the bully, but I was part of the whole bully group being the cool kid. And that, that just wasn't the way to go. It's really not a good way to portray yourself. It's much nicer being a nice person and have people remember you for, for being a good person, for helping them and doing your best you can to help them than being remembered for being that bully in your school that everyone hated but everyone also loved because you're the cool kid and I much prefer trying to be the good person and try my best to help people so all I can say is I will type it out you will see in a second is thank you there we go and a big exclamation mark thank you all for 1000 subscribers and I really hope the channel grows from here and we get a lot further but if it doesn't I'm still happy that we have this 1000 people to make try and make happy and try and make even a minute of your day better than it was before and that's kind of what I want to do on YouTube is to try and make something better for someone and it's why I've also put up on my Twitter before that what I plan on doing is if the channel gets a lot bigger is starting to stream and trying to raise money for charities and stuff because I do really want to help people as much as I can and I, I think that's kind of the way to be if if the human race is ever to move on from where it is and if all the third world, second world, first world is all to break apart into less being divided into black people and white people, less being divided into first world and third world and all that, then it's going to be people just trying to help to bring everyone together into realizing we're all just the human race. So thank you all for being a part of this channel and being a part of the thousand subscribers and thank you all for watching this video. It, it, it really is. It's it's very surreal to say in a thousand people because that's a lot of people. I I, uh, I just I can't put it into my head and I my, my words just keep choking. I just I don't know what to say. But all I can say is thank you all so much and thank you all for watching this video. Uh, sincerely, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>